Hello, fastener enthusiasts and industry professionals. Chris Young here, and I'm live in the Fastener TV studio. Welcome to your weekly roundup of the latest in fasteners, industry news, trends, upcoming events, and industry scholarships. Let's dive into this week's episode of In the News with Fastener News Desk. Thank you, Chris. I'm Lisa Kleinhandler, editor in chief at Fastener News Desk broadcasting from the heart of Maine, where lobsters, blueberries, potatoes, whoopie pies, and IPAs are all mainstays. We'll dive into the latest fastener industry news. This week, we'll cover industry updates, key acquisitions, upcoming events, and exciting scholarship opportunities, making headlines the week of June 3rd, 2024. Stanley Black & Decker, President and Chief Executive Officer Donald Allen Jr. rang the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange in honor of the 100th year anniversary of DeWalt, a Stanley Black & Decker brand and leader in total job site solutions. As part of the celebration, DeWalt opened applications for its 2024 Grow the Trades grant program, which is part of its $30 million commitment over five years to support organizations that are skilling, reskilling, and upskilling tradespeople. Nucor Corporation announced that it has entered into an agreement to acquire Rytec Corporation, a manufacturer and seller of high-speed, high-performance commercial doors. The all-cash transaction is valued at $565 million. With over 300 teammates operating from two manufacturing facilities in Wisconsin, this acquisition further executes new core strategy to expand beyond their core steelmaking businesses into related downstream businesses. The addition of high performance doors will create cross selling opportunities with other new core businesses and greatly expand new core's product portfolio serving the commercial arena. In a significant milestone for the fastener industry, the Industrial Fasteners Institute recently celebrated the 50th anniversary of the ASTM Committee F-16 on fasteners at a ceremony in Philadelphia. During the event, Salim Brahimi, IFI's Director of Engineering and Technology, was honored with the prestigious Walter C. Voss Award making the first time a member of the F-16 committee has received the accolade. This award was presented by Kathy Morgan, the ASTM immediate past president. I had the opportunity to speak with Salim about the ceremony and the history of the ASTM F-16 committee. This is a great read. I highly recommend it. Check it out, featured at Fastener News Desk. Birmingham Fastener, through its subsidiary, Commercial and Aerospace Supply of Mexico, installed its first distribution center outside of the United States in Querétaro, Mexico. The fastener manufacturer and distributor will focus on providing hardware and fastener-related services to companies with projects in the aerospace, construction, and commercial industries. Birmingham Fastener manufactures and distributes fasteners for structural steel fabrication, construction, transportation, waterworks and utilities, OEMs, construction, MRO, and other industries. The Industrial Fasteners Institute announced the launch of their new IFI Book of Fastener Standards 12th edition. The comprehensive compilation includes 96 standards from ASTM, ASME, SAE, and IFI. The IFI Book of Fastener Standards serves as the industry's resource and is a compilation of the most commonly used fastener standards for inch fasteners and non-ISO metric fasteners. Order your copy today at IND. Fast.org. 
The Southeastern Fastener Association wrapped up their annual spring conference and announced their 2024 to 2025 Board of Directors, as well as their 2024 scholarship awardees. Tony Strine of International Fasteners will serve as president of the organization. Serving as vice president is Dana Strock of Nucor Fasteners, and chairwoman is Stephanie Wood of Fastener Supply. For more information, go to thecifa.com. The Fastener Training Institute announced Fastener Training Week Chicago. Fastener Training Week returns to Chicago this year from August 19th through the 23rd. The event will be hosted by the Midwest Fastener Association as part of their annual Fastener Week. For more information and to register, go to fastenertraining.org. Listen up, Threadheads and Fasteners. Tune in to Fully Threaded Radio for a special edition Fastener Fair USA 2024 coverage. Tune in for all the highlights from this year's conference. Go to fullythreaded.com. Worth Additive Group is hitting the road again this summer on their Demo Days 2024 tour. This new frontier of manufacturing might seem like a tough mountain to climb, and it does require careful consideration. If you're looking to turn a physical part into a digital model you can print on demand, you won't want to miss the opportunity to meet with the Worth Additive Group team. Get ready for the Demo Days 2024 tour an exclusive journey across key locations in the United States. First stop is Charlotte, North Carolina, June 4th, and then on to Raleigh, North Carolina, June 5th. For more tour dates and info, go to worthadditive.com. The annual Northeast Fastener Distributors Association Scholarship Golf Outing will take place on June 5th at the Southington Country Club. Sponsorships and golfer registration are now open. Save the date and make sure to reserve your space today. Go to nefda.com. Registration is open for the National Fastener Distributors Association Annual Meeting and ESPS taking place in Irving, Texas, June 11th through the 14th. The NFDA's premier event includes networking, one-on-one -on -one business meetings, education, and social time with fastener industry friends. You won't want to miss it. Go to nfda-fastener.org and register today. New training opportunity from the Fastener Training Institute and the Industrial Fasteners Institute. Fatigue in Fasteners, Why Workmanship is Important, and Fastener Standards 101. Aerospace and Defense Version. Explore the important subject of fatigue, especially with aerospace fasteners and how manufacturing workmanship plays a role. Plus, learn about fastener standards used by the aerospace fastener industry and explore how standards are developed and amended on June 18th and 19th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in Santa Ana, California. Register now at fastenertraining.org. Join the Pacific West Fastener Association for their After Hours event happening in Langley, British Columbia. Stop by and meet with other people in the fastener industry and expand your professional network at the Barley Merchant Tap Room and Kitchen, happening Thursday, June 20th from 5 to 8 p.m. For more information and to get registered for this great event, go to pacpac-west.org.
Don't miss out on the ultimate ball game experience with the Midwest Fastener Association as they head to Milwaukee for an unforgettable day at American Family Field to see the Milwaukee Brewers take on the Pittsburgh Pirates. Friends and family are welcome. Happening Thursday, July 11th at 1.10 p.m. Hurry and reserve your tickets today. The deadline is May 11th or when tickets run out. Go to mwfa.net to reserve your tickets. Women in the fastener industry will honor the memory of Anne Bisgeyer Wools, co-publisher of Fastener Industry News, with a Fastener Training Institute scholarship. Learn more about this incredible opportunity for training at fastenerwomen.com. The Mark Strangquist Memorial Scholarship Fund will offer one scholarship for Fastener Training Week each year valued at $2,800. The deadline to submit your completed application to the NFDA is August 31st, 2024. Applicants will be notified of the Strangquist family's decision in late September. Apply now at nfda-fastener.org. The Young Fastener Professionals Association announced their Fastener Training Week Scholarship. YFP is offering members an opportunity to attend Fastener Training Week. Scholarships can be used for any Fastener Training Week program in 2024 or 2025. The FTI training is valued at $2,800. Deadline to submit your application is October 15th. Go to nfda-fastener.org. The Midwest Fastener Association Educational Scholarship is just one of the many membership benefits. The scholarship award is a minimum of $1,500 for higher education. The MWFA has awarded over $950,000 for membership dues, donations, and industry shows. Submit your MWFA scholarship at mwfa.net. The stories featured in this week's episode of In the News can be found at Fastener News Desk or in our feed at Fastener News at x.com, the new Twitter rebrand, on LinkedIn in the Fastener News group, and at Fastener News at Threads. If you'd like to share your company's news or events, contact me, Lisa, at FastenerNewsDesk.com. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of In the News with Fastener News Desk. Until next week, be well and keep it fascinating.